Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz, you feel like your co-workers have been a little cranky lately? It's not in your head. According to researchers from the American Psychological Association, workplace incivility is on the rise, which basically means rudeness, insults, and bad manners. Why are you looking at me like that, Michaela? And it's <laughs> becoming the norm in the workplace. A study says that up to 80% of people experiencing these problems uh, at their job right now, a large part of the reason for that could be the economy as companies lay off workers and give remaining employees more to do to keep productivity up, the, necess the niceties rather suffer. In fact, uh, the majority of people surveyed said they think there is a critical need for civility training at their workplace. So ladies, do you think people aren't as nice at work here as they used to be? You know what I think? I think that you can get into a work situation where there may only be one or two people that has that sort of toxic to them where um, they can really bring down an entire group of people and so I think one of the things I've learned through the years and it definitely takes some experience is trying to remove yourself from right. that and just stay out of the gossip stay out of the negativity that can kind of infest in a new in an, a um, any work environment right yeah bad energy you want to stay yeah, from your bad exactly but I mean one person can kind of bring down the morale of the entire place mm -hmm. one thing I do when Michaela comes into work every morning <laughs> I give her a big smile and a hug not true <laughs> What do you think? I, I, Not about that, but just about the topic. <laughs> um, I, I agree with Stop Michelle, the fact that, you know, <laughs> it, it can be somewhat of a downward spiral or a bit contagious when, you know, someone's feeling down, they kind of want to bring others down with them. So, yeah, you do have to separate yourself from that. But I understand where they're coming from of, of seeing more negativity and, and maybe more rudeness or, or things like that because maybe people are more stressed. I mean, we were just talking today of how the, the stock market is plummeting. And, you know, you have all of these hectic things, you know, between kids' schedules and your own schedule and now economy struggles. So once you're at work, I feel like maybe those stresses you're, you're bringing along with you and that can, of course, result in, in maybe tempers that you wish you didn't have yeah. or things that well, you probably shouldn't have said. I agree with that. Yeah, the wick is a lot shorter for people now. You yes. know, the patience is, yeah. is not is there like it used to be. But I think there's always been stress in the workplace. Uh, you know, just in, yeah. in, in, in our business alone, we've seen more people doing more than they used to do, you know, mm -hmm. where reporters that used to just be reporters now carry cameras and they're out doing twice as much work. Yes. But, you know, there are those that, that, that I guess the people that don't like it, they don't work here, you know, they don't end up working here or anywhere anymore because mm -hmm. you can find plenty of people that need work that will come here and provide some positive energy and come in and do the job uh, and not gripe about it. But, um, you know, I think companies should keep in mind that, you know, that, that, that moods are down and maybe that's a good idea to have some civility training, wouldn't you think? I, I, don't, I just think that... In You're always happy, Michelle. <laughs> I think in a time of budget cuts, though, I think civility training would be my choice to go over, say, one of my coworkers' jobs. I agree. So, right. I mean, where, yes. who has the money for civility training? If you can't, right, sure, all right. Why not just have, like, an ice cream party? Yes, that would party? make everyone. Ice cream saves the that world. That would put everyone in such a better mood. <laughs> you know, I actually read on the news this morning that the cost of making ice cream has gone up this year because whole milk stop, costs 30% more than it used to. This is what I'm talking to. about, the, about the toxicness in a, in a workplace. I'm that guy, huh? Yes, I'm the guy. stop. Is that why you don't talk to me anymore yes. when we pass each other in the yes. hallways? Well, it could also What's be your excuse? You cr crank the AC up. Yes. Crank the air conditioning. <laughs> oh, the air conditioning. <laughs> Courtney's in there laughing up the storm, too. I miss, I miss, it Dan, is I miss Danielle. I really miss Danielle. <laughs> That's she would agree she with might side with the ladies, she though. Would, yeah. I think that's true. We'll you know, see. Where's Ben? I miss Ben. I need a man on the show. <laughs> Courtney, take it away. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a, a, a male on the show pretty soon, coming up in later segments. We're talking about workplace rudeness and what people think the cause or the root is. We'll start on Fox Providence. Lots of comments on Facebook. I do want to get to those. So G. Winton says, I think people these days are rushed, under pressure, and tired, so it makes sense that they would come across as rude. No excuse, though. And Jerry said, the reason we have rudeness in the workplace today is because everyone is out for themselves. So here's the poll here. We asked, do you think people aren't as nice at work as they used to be? A, yes, people are feeling more pressure. B, no, workplace behavior is no different. Here's a look at our Facebook page, about uh, eight comments maybe so far. Aaron Blackman said, I noticed that a long time ago. I think it has more to do with the fact that technology is making us far less social, at least in a face-to-face -face sort of way. 
Andrew Marnick says they say misery loves company, so it's all about personal mindset. He says if you're having a bad day, it's your choice to change it for yourself and those around you. And Nancy Sweezy says you have no idea. I'm a wedding planner, rude, ungrateful brides and vendors, she said. And then Brian Gibbons said common courtesy, not so common anymore. Hopefully, we as a workplace nation can turn this around, but we'll see what you all really think in our poll. We'll have those results end of the show. For now.